Good morning, everybody. Dr. Joey Kramer, Hope Upper Cervical Spine Center. <clears throat> Yesterday, I was having a conversation with a patient of mine, and he was floored at the idea that many people inside the medical profession, the very profession designed to help us overcome our symptomatic expression of disease, do not understand much beyond pharmaceutical intervention at end organ pathology. Now let me break this down for you because I wanna make this very, very simple. Over the last couple, several months, we have had a lot of people with issues with the head up, right? So everything in this range, being from Bell's palsies, from having trigeminal neuralgia, from having facial paralysis, from having occipital neuralgia, from having constricting bands around their heads, to having ice picks stabbed behind ears, to having eustachian tube blockages, to having tinnitus going on, to having vertigo and dizziness and all these other end organ pathologies. And what's really fascinating about these is that if we look at the medical intervention, the prescription index is designed to attack the end organ, meaning the very nerve at its very end point, right? So you may talk about taking gabapentin, you may take some form of prednisone, some form of steroid, some form of intervention that may numb it, right? As Jordan, as Jordan Peterson calls it, as sleeping beauty, right? The goal there is to numb the end organ in order to allow you to have the ability to function, right? So if you got trigeminal neuralgia, we want to nerve or we want to block that nerve so that you can chew, you can smile, you can talk. But the fascinating thing is eventually those drugs wear off. If you got Bell's palsy, we want to try to excite the nerves so that things start coming back, right? They may make you tape your eye or pull your chin up. Maybe we'll look at plastic surgery to permanently fix your face that way. However, none of these actually get down to the root cause. And I think a good analogy of this is right now in Texas, it's about 80 degrees out. And everybody's going to be wondering when they can throw fertilizer down. Because if we look at all of our winter grass, we are starting to see weeds pop up everywhere. And I know that most people will go and treat the weed, right? They'll buy some Roundup, they'll buy some uh, Spectricide, some form of spray, and they'll cover the grass to kill the expression of the weed. However, they will not get to the root, right? The root needed to be taken care of back in October when you put down your pre-emergent and your winterizer so that can get rid of what would be a weed come this beautiful February we're having right now. Well, the same thing can happen with regards to your body. You see, we can get so siloed and so focused on one area that if the end organ pathology doesn't change by our prescription, that we really are a last for words. We don't know what to do. We well, Our training hasn't taught us. We haven't gone further, right? But the fascinating thing to me is that if we take a basic anatomy textbook, and in that basic anatomy textbook, we look at all the nerves of your brain stem. They all end up coming out of your skull in some way, shape, or form to control the head, right? That's what we're looking at, right? That's that end organ pathology that you all tell us about. When you come into my practice and you're like, Doc, you know, this doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I'm dealing with this, I'm dealing with this, I've tried this and nothing has gotten better. Why is it not working? Well, for me, in the upper cervical world, we want to get to the root cause, right? So like if we're talking about the winterized lawn, you come see me to address the actual problem at the root of the nerve. You see these nerves, they all originate from your neck, right? And so I have a very specific model here because it'll help us understand, but this is the back of your skull right here. This is the first bone of your neck. This is the second bone of your neck. And your spinal cord comes right through here at the very tip. This is where your brainstem is at. And what's really fascinating about this is that most medical literature, when you start looking at things for the face, the head, and the neck, will um, actually admit in the anatomical and physiological textbook that most of the nuclei that make up the cranial nerves will extend as far as the first, the second, 
and sometimes the third cervical vertebrae. However, the first and the second are really our crux. These are the most important things in the human body because this guy right here, the first bone of your neck, is the most important bone in the body. And as I know, I had a patient come and tell me, he goes, Doc, did you know as little as 0.5 millimeters translation of this bone can cause a disruption in the root of neurological function? I go, I am so glad you learned that. Because when we start getting people coming into practice and they have two millimeter, three millimeter, four millimeter translations, they have to understand that this is a very serious problem. And for a long period of time, it has been interrupting the root of the nerve. And that root is now expressing itself as a massive weed. And while the medication is trying to attack that weed, it is doing nothing to fix the root cause. So inside of the upper cervical world, when you come in to see us, our job, our focus is to show you that the majority of your symptomatic presentation is in fact a cervical spine problem manifesting an in-organ pathology. So while we have all the fancy names of Bell's palsy, of trigeminal neuralgia, of Meniere's disease, of vertigo, of headache, of migraine, of tension headache, every single one of those is a direct correlation to a problem with your brainstem. And that brainstem originates at the level of the base of your skull, extending as far as C1, C2, and C3. And so when we have a malposition of those two bones, and it is significant enough to interrupt normal neurological function, it is only a matter of time before you present with a neurological condition. That is why we get such amazing results inside of our practice, because our job is to get to the root cause, to correct the underlying problem, and to alleviate the problem so that you can go about living your life without drugs, without addictive medication, without surgery where they cut the back of your skull open or they go in through your jaw or they open your face up, right? We're not trying to do any of that. We were designed perfectly the way we are. Sometimes we just need the right adjustment at the right time at the right place. And so upper cervical 101 is very, very important to understand that if you have end organ pathology, you already have a neck problem. If you never fix the neck problem, I don't care how many medications you take, how many mold detoxes you do, how many chelation therapy treatments you go through, that underlying problem at the root will always be there. And it can only be solved by a competent upper cervical doctor. So listen, I make this statement at the end of every single one of my videos. If you are suffering with a neurological condition from your shoulders to the top of your head, and you are sick and tired of being written prescription after prescription with no success, give our office a call, 972-638-0994. And if you're not in South Lake, Texas, we will find somebody for you in the area you are at. You may have to travel a little bit, but I guarantee you that that sacrifice will be worth the reward. Today's lecture is the idea that upper cervical handles the root cause of the problem. Stop treating the weed, get to the root.